What's going on YouTube? It's Adam from Beyond the Grid. Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we're going to take a still photo like this. We're going to take that dull, kind of overcast sky, pull it into Final Cut Pro, and change it all into a hyperlapse. So it's going to turn out something like this. Alright guys, so let's jump into Final Cut Pro and I'm going to show you guys how to do this really quickly. But if you close your eyes... Okay, so to start off with guys, I'm going to show you guys really quickly why you need to take the extra step into Photoshop. Because we're going to be using the keyer in Final Cut Pro, it's not going to actually see the actual background and kind of distinguish it against everything else. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the effects browser. We're going to go over to keying, go to keyer, drag it onto the actual photo that we're going to be using. And if you can see really quickly when we play it out, it kind of really doesn't work and it doesn't really just show it up here. It kind of shows it all over. So we're going to pop over into Photoshop and I'm going to show you guys how to do it from there. Okay, so to kick this off, we need to create this sky something different color than the rest of the photo. The key works really well with green and blue. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a copy of this base layer. We're going to go up to select. We're going to go up to color range. We're going to click on our sky and click OK. And as you can see, it did a pretty good job at selecting most of it, but we're going to select a little bit extra. So we're going to go over to the selection tool. We're going to use the plus, and we're going to select all of this stuff over here. There's a little bit in the sky over here. And yeah, that looks pretty good. Except for it's got my hat not selected. So we're going to use the minus, make this smaller. Select my hat. And it's got my face selected, so we're going to use the plus. Sorry, we're going to use the minus on my face, the back of my head here, and on my shirt, on the emblem. Well, that looks pretty good. So when you go to do this, right click here, go to feather, leave it a radius of 1. Then we're going to go over to our brush tool. Make it as big as possible. We're going to change the color to the lime green and then quickly paint over everything that we want to change color. And there you go. So quickly export this out and I'll meet you guys back into Final Cut Pro. Okay, so now that we're in Final Cut Pro again, what we're going to do is we're going to leave our time lapse on our base layer. We're going to drag our photo with the green background over top of it, expand it out so it matches up, and then it doesn't really fill our frame here, so we're going to actually expand that out. So use the transform, expand it out so it covers the entire frame. Click done. Then we're going to go to our effects browser, go down to keying, go back to our keyer. Drag and drop that on the top, and what it's going to do is it's going to transform everything that we painted green in Photoshop, and it's going to reveal the base layer. So it's going to look something like this. And go now, the spaces between us will grow. And fall now, these places up into a mall. So as you guys can see, you can take a photo that's really dull on an overcast day and just transform it into something that's really going to pop, really going to stand out, and people are going to be asking like, how the heck did you do that? And it's not that hard. You can hammer on one of these in let's say like five minutes tops. It's super easy if you guys follow the steps, and I mean, it's really not that intimidating. So get out there, go take some photos, use this, and if you guys are not following me on Instagram, make sure you guys are doing that, Adam underscore beyond the grid. And if you guys found anything helpful in this video at all, make sure you guys are hitting that like button. If you guys are not a subscriber, I mean, why aren't you? Hit that subscribe button. And until the next video, take care, everybody. Nice, nice.